luck is coming my way Wherever I go, hard luck is there to stay Good luck never stays a day A bad luck's always coming my way Today we're in New Orleans, Louisiana, searching out the filming locations to American Horror Story Coven. This should be rather interesting. We're gonna be driving all over New Orleans, just so you know. Vroom, vroom. Vroom, vroom for sure. It's gonna be a long day. By chance, do you recognize the house that's behind Jessica and me? This is a great place to start off the Coven filming locations. This is the Buckner Mansion, which stood in for Miss Robichaud's Academy, which is basically a home slash school for witches. I'm not sure if you can hear it on camera, but across the street from the Buckner Mansion behind me is an elementary school, and there are children laughing and screaming but just look how Jessica looks, how beautiful my little witch looks in front of the coven house. Lining up shots for this location is going to be a little bit difficult because whenever you're first introduced to the house, it's an aerial shot. As the car pulls up, you can clearly see this tile mosaic piece in the shot from education as the leading cause the public character, its color draws. Next, we see a shot from right about here, and there's a plaque here on the wall that says Mrs. Robichaud's Academy. Myrtle Snow would have been standing right about there, and you can see this at one point was a doorbell. Not sure if it was a prop for the show, but at one point you can pretty much tell that it actually was a working doorbell. Such a beautiful home. Yeah, I could live here. And I don't even think Jessica would object to that. There's another angle of the house. I really love the entrance, the gates there. And correct me if I'm wrong, I'm pretty darn sure that during the show, that wrought iron fence looked a little bit different. Almost like it was a, like a regular fence on top of it. Basically had to climb a tree in order to get this shot right here. I just can't get enough of this house It's easy for a house to take up an entire block here in New Orleans, especially when it comes to a historical house This thing is monstrous You know I say things like I would love to own this house. I would love to own it and I can see ourselves, both Jessica and I, living inside the Buckner Mansion, the Coven House. And I would like to think that people coming by and taking pictures wouldn't bother me. But who knows? Maybe it would. There's a little stone table and seats there. You can have a little picnic outside. It's easy to see why they used this house as a witch school in American Horror Story Coven. Honestly, it kind of looks like an asylum back here. It's beautiful. All right, so we've been walking around the French Quarter for quite some time now, trying to line up shots. I feel like we're going in circles, but I think we finally have the area where they did the famous witch walk. The famous witch walk that we've all come to know and love from American Horror Story Coven starts off right here, right over in this side. There's a butcher carrying a pig out of a truck and the witches are walking from over here to read about where Jessica is saying. And Madison says, what famous line? It's so hot, my vagina's sweating. Exactly. And as they walk, 
you can see this gate and this sign when Fiona starts explaining that they are heading to Pop's Fountain and the significance of what it means to witches. Where are we going? It's too hot, my freaking vagina's sweating. To Pop's Fountain, a kind of holy place for our order. Right now the gate is closed, but in the TV show it is open and that sign that says Hotel Marie guest parking can be seen. It looks like it's a sign on the brick wall because the gate is open, but it's not. It's actually on the wrought iron gate. They continue walking down the sidewalk just like Jessica is doing. And you can clearly see the division of the two buildings in this shot. He and her sister witches would gather there proudly and publicly, very much in the spirit of the times. But it was damaged during Katrina and the authorities used this as an excuse to declare this. The witches continue to walk down the sidewalk as Fiona talks about Pop's Fountain. And you can see those black bars, the pools, the entire time they walk. Sacred space, a safety hazard. It's been closed off ever since. I don't understand. What are we supposed to do if we can't get in? Tear the wall down. As they come to the intersection right here where the Hotel Marie stands, you get an aerial shot, which the creators of American Horror Story are famous for doing. And they cross the street and you can clearly see these green shutters and door as they pass by it. When witches don't fight, we burn. This is seriously the worst field trip ever. Each one of you has a unique gift, but that's not nearly enough. The famous intersection of the witches walking, dressed in black, this is it, right here, on this corner. I do want to point out that the entire time that the witches are walking to Pop Fountain, it's basically impossible. The actual Pop Fountain here in New Orleans is on the other side of town. It is a real place. It does have a bit of a witch history, which I commend American Horror Story, the writers, the creators, for including that. They never show it in any of the episodes but it really does exist. Also, they actually never make it to Pop Fountain because Nan stops because she hears something. She can sense something because they pass by Madame LaLaurie's mansion. She can kind of hear her spirit or something calling from behind the grave. Because remember, she's buried, Madame LaLaurie, Kathy Bates, she's buried in the courtyard behind her house. Which too, is on the other side of the French Quarter. We mentioned that the exterior for Madame LaLaurie's house was the Gallier house for American Horror Story Coven. This home right here is where they shot all the interior scenes. Even though we can't match up any shots of the interior of this house, if you take a look at the window above the door and on both sides there, when the group walks into the house, you can see it at the end of the long hallway the notorious Madame LaLaurie. This very house, the center of New Orleans high society. What you're looking at right now is the real Madame LaLaurie mansion here in New Orleans. Some would say it's the most famous ghost horror story serial killer. Now what I find interesting is American Horror Story Coven, their portrayal of her, they actually used that house right there as the LaLaurie Mansion. So let's get a closer look. I feel like the last time that we were here doing the filming locations for Interview with the Vampire, that we stopped at this house as well. I can't really remember the scene, but it is called the Gallier House and you guessed it, it is on the historical landmark list. It's a beautiful house. So let's try to line up some of the shots now. Lining up shots for this scene, the camera starts off on an aerial view of Jessica Lang walking down the street right here, which is actually Royal Street in New Orleans. In this scene, Kathy Bates, who plays Madame LaLaurie, is sitting on a bench right about where Jessica is standing right now. Whenever Jessica Lang comes over and sits next to her and they have a conversation about how things have changed. They haven't changed the name of the street signs. You're lucky you didn't get run over. You know, the world has sped up a bit since you went down in that hole. You know, foot. I could be trampled by a herd of elephants, it wouldn't make a spit of difference. And at one point, they even show a camera angle looking up here. There's a little plaque 
And Kathy Bates says, they've even marked my house. How cool would it be if there was a bench sitting right there? The shot when they look at the plaque on the wall is almost from right here. There you go. They defaced my home with a plaque. The house of Madame Lalaurie, a historical site. This would have been the shot of Kathy Bates sitting there on the bench. It is also important to point out that only the exteriors of this building were used for American Horror Story Coven. As we were standing here getting ready to film, a tour guide walked by with a tour and they mentioned that right down this corridor behind this gate is where they buried Kathy Bates in American Horror Story Coven. But you know what? After doing a whole bunch of research, that is not true. She was not buried back here. I mean, in theory, she was in the show. In all actuality, however, further down the French Quarter, there is an apothecary museum. And the courtyard behind that is the fountain in the courtyard that they used for that scene where Madame Lalaurie was buried. They're closed because of COVID. We can't get inside there or else I'd take the camera there. See, I told you, Gallier House, National Historic Landmark. And would you look at that? The Gallier House even has a gift shop. Not open today though. In fact, this place hasn't been open either time that we've been here. Just get a load of this doorway, this gate. Pay no attention to the Christmas wreaths though. But those are massive. I think Jessica would agree with me that the gates here at the Gallier House and the little front steps, the porch, is probably our favorite place in all of the French Quarter to kind of sit and take a load off. And we have a snack. Basically, Zapp's New Orleans style voodoo potato chips. Nom, nom, nom. They, they sell these everywhere. Nom, nom, nom. Anywhere that you live in the country. But it only makes sense that here in New Orleans, the home of voodoo, we eat them here. I've actually never had these, and I've always wanted to try them, but for some reason, I kind of stopped myself. But here, when I saw them in a gas station just outside the French Quarter, I had to get them. So... These are really good, Jessica. They kind of remind me of, like, a barbecue and uh, not sour cream and onion, vinegar and oil. Vinegar and oil and barbecue flavored potato chips. I dig them. All right, next up on our American Horror Story Coven filming locations tour is Ted's Fro Stop Burgers. It's supposed to be really good. We're also gonna eat lunch here. In the TV show, Queenie and Madame LaLaurie escape the world of the witches for a little bit and they go grab a bite to eat. And that place is here at Ted's Frostop Burgers. It's the same in real life as it was in the TV show. The only difference is during the show, there was a drive through Now, that drive through is gone. Welcome to Frostop, I'm going to take your order. Who said that? Girl, relax. It's just a guy at the window. Let me get two jumping jacks of cheese. Two fries, large, and two strawberry cyclones. Okay, a super size order for a dollar ninety-nine. Do we dare? <laughs> Hell yeah! Even though the drive-through experience is no longer here, you can still see where the drive-through window used to be. There's something you don't see every day: a giant light-up root beer sign mug, which is awesome because they make their own root beer here. Ted's Fro Stop Burgers is actually a very popular place here in New Orleans. A lot of people come here to eat and it's very busy. During filming, that sign that's on the front of the building used to be over here. I'm not sure if they moved it over there for filming and then moved it back or if that was the original location, but Kathy Bates and Queenie, they parked their car right about there and ate their fast food. It was the best burger 
Madame Lalaurie has ever eaten. And of course, since both Jessica and I are hungry, we had to stop here for a bite to eat. We love a good burger. Gonna show you those in a minute, but you may or may not know I am a sucker for root beer. So I got the Ted's famous root beer float. And Jessica, you got a regular drink. What did you get? Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper. So there, you saw a sign that said that they make their own root beer? Mm-hmm, it said homemade. And it's called Ted's Famous Root Beer. That's good, I like root beer. It's a good root beer. You wanna try it? Nope. Good, it's mine. And that, my friends, is the burgers. Ah. Oh, there we go. It smells absolutely delicious. All right, I'm eating it. We ordered this single that's called the Lotto Burger, but look at this thing. It's massive. Mm -hmm. Probably translate to like a third of a pound. That's good. It smells good. amazing. During the famous witch walk during Coven, Fiona leads the witches through the streets of New Orleans to what you would think is right down the street to the infamous historical witch spot known as Pop Fountain. When in fact, it's actually completely on the other side of New Orleans. It's behind this fence. Where are we going? It's too hot, my freaking vagina sweating. To Pop's Fountain. Kind of holy place for our order. Now what I find very interesting is they never showed this fountain in the show Coven. They only talked about it briefly. But according to story from what we've read, witches back in the 70s, like local witches, used to come here and perform magic or ceremonies and, and different meditation kind of stuff. So if that's true, then kudos to the American Horror Story writers and creators for tipping the hat to nodding to the world of witches in American Horror Story Coven. Just look at this. The fountain isn't on, of course. But this is it, man. And it is gorgeous. Let's walk around to the other side so we can get a shot with the sun behind us. You can definitely see why people would come here to get their photos, the wedding photos done. That's gorgeous, Jessica. Let's walk up through here. It's very Roman-esque, isn't it? Yeah. Like you would think like a Roman Empire or a Roman fountain. There's an inscription. This colonnade and fountain were given to the people of New Orleans by Mr. and Mrs. John F. Pop. The balustrade below was a gift of Miss Isabel Grant, 1934. Crazy cool. It's just beautiful. If only there was water coming out. We've been driving all over New Orleans in the French Quarter searching for this house, Mason Vitry, which was the house used for Marie Laveau's Cornrow City Salon. We finally found it, and you guessed it. It too is an historical building. We are introduced to Marie Laveau's Cornrow City Salon at about this exact shot right here. The camera starts off right behind a classic car.
as we all know, the creators of American Horror Story used some very creative camera shots, but the camera pretty much follows the main character right here in front of the building as she walks inside the front door. I think it's safe to say that the gates that are here on the door are the same exact ones that they used when they filmed Coven here. As well as these little, I don't know what you want to call them, these little floral pieces. During the show they were actually colored blue and red and green, but they're still here. The building looks identical to whenever they were here filming Coven. It's a historical building just outside of the French Quarter called Mason Vitry. All in all, it's a pretty massive building. Love these old houses here in New Orleans. You know what, Jessica? I've come to realize that the two times that we've been here visiting New Orleans, we've fallen in love with not only the cemeteries and the beignets, where are you at? But the architecture. I could see us living in a house like this. I lost her. She's around here somewhere. Being spooky. Being short. Short and spooky. The fraternity scenes here in Coven were filmed right here at this house. Pretty much everything that you see are those bay windows in the front door there. Right there above the bay windows is where they had their fraternity symbol, or whatever you want to call it. In the show, the bus with Kyle and the other college kids would be parked right there, and they get out of it after Kyle's little pep talk, walk right past that tree, and into the party. And they also come running outside that door, well, after you know what happened. They hop in the bus and they take off what appears to be down that road, but as you can see, it is a busy road, so they obviously didn't do that. It was filmed somewhere else. Not entirely sure where the bus crash scene happened, you know, when she flips the bus. In Coven, they didn't use any other angle of this house, but had to get another shot because this house is miraculous. I mean, check out that wraparound porch. After Evan Peters' character, Kyle, is killed in the bus crash, the girls bring him here to this abandoned portion of this hospital where he's pieced together. Because the bus crash was pretty darn gnarly, there were body parts everywhere, they pieced Kyle's body together using pieces of his friend. And there's a scene, I think it's episode seven, where it opens with a tattoo shot and he realizes he sees like a, a tattoo of a four-leaf clover and he remembers his friend and kind of goes through this montage but it all happened behind these walls for point of reference basically we're standing at the back of the hospital in the older section it looks like but there's one of the newer buildings right there right now we're just walking around the perimeter of the old hospital the wall kind of reminds me of that of an asylum. And it just goes on and on and on for blocks. It's really pretty. Right? Like it's all overgrown with moss and different ferns. It's actually like, it would make a really cool like industrial photo shoot. How fitting is this? An old hospital and somebody tagged this old door saying nurse, like Nurse Ratchet and a very creepy smiley face. But look, that's an old sign that says danger, 13,800 volts. Oh, that's crazy. Electric chair? Uh, it's not the electric chair. Oh. In the center of your screen is Hell or High Water Tattoo here in New Orleans. Season three, episode seven, entitled The Dead. Right inside this tattoo shop, Kyle 
and his friends are getting tattoos. It's a flashback scene. I think it's a pretty cool idea, Cal. Thank you, Jimmy. Yeah, I do too. That's why I want to wish you the luck of the Irish. I didn't know you were Irish. You can't drink or fight. You're a little bitch. <laughs> Looks good, right? <laughs> You never actually see the exterior of this building, but the interior, it's clearly a tattoo shop. It's closed today, but let's go see if we can peek inside the window. Through the wrought iron gate, you can clearly see it says hell or high water tattoo. Didn't really expect them to be open, especially with the pandemic going on, even though a lot of shops are. But this is it. Another shot right there of a sign that would be outside. Let's see if we can look inside here. You really can't see anything, can you? Too much sun, too much glare. Even though we can't get inside, we can take a look at some of the stuff they have here in the window. This is awesome. It's a sign that you can actually stand behind for like a photo opportunity of the tattooed woman. You can see right there, you'd stand behind it. And that's where your head would go. Right now we're just outside of New Orleans proper, I'm guessing you would say, at Chubby's Chicken Seafood and Po' Boys. This is where Queenie worked. Yo, the medium bucket is supposed to have eight pieces. This one has only seven. My name is not Yo, it's Queenie. And you must have miscounted because I packed that basket myself. The original plan was to come here for lunch and get some chicken, hopefully served to us by Queenie if she was still here. But they are closed for the holidays. They're supposed to be opening up sometime mid-January. We're gonna be long gone. But this is it. Chubby's Fried Chicken. Chicken, seafood, and po' boys. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of wish that they were open. I could go for a good po' boy right now, especially in New Orleans. Now, if we get close enough, you can see that right about here is where that customer was sitting when he said that he did not get the piece of chicken that should have come in his meal. And Queenie, she goes right behind the counter in the back there. And that's where she sticks her hand in the oil and ultimately burns the customer. I am the manager. Good luck never stays a day. A bad luck's always a coming my way. 